Hi, my name is Pattaya, or Forrest, whatever you know me as. And thank you for joining me for this first episode of whatever this channel is going to be called. Probably Pattaya Vision, because that's just the kind of person I am. Feel free to suggest some names. Some of you already know this, but the main reason I'm making YouTube videos is to get through a bunch of personal shit. I hate the way I look, I hate the way I sound. Frankly, I have crippling anxiety and have trouble speaking to large crowds, online or offline. So hopefully, making some of these videos will let me get through that. Looking at a camera is terrifying, even though I'm the only one in the room. But we'll see how it goes. Tonight we are going to be opening up a BAM box. Gamer edition. First one they've made. If you haven't heard of BAM box, they make nerd block, arcade block style um, loot crates. And they specialize in pop culture things, they have the horror themed boxes, they specialize in Beckett authenticated autographs for like Funko Pops, trading cards. This is my first BAM box at all. This is the first gamer box they have done, and we're gonna open it up. So it turns out a lot of the footage I got from unboxing the box itself is pretty much unusable. Bad quality, the webcam just kind of shat itself. So this is going to be less an unboxing video and more just straight up review for the Gamer Fan Box number one. Um, as you can see on this corner, got it right this time. Um, I'm just going to show you close-ups of the various items, tell you a little bit about them. Uh, to preface, when I was advertised this product in the games, Confirmed were The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Norse God of War, Injustice 2, and uh, Punch Out on the Wii. So, it's a little misleading, some here and there, so you can be the judge of it. First up, the Zelda item a little Hylian Shield replica pin. Belt buckle, it's not really a pin or a belt buckle. More like a keychain? But it's got good heft to it. Probably would be very comfortable to like put on this keychain. But it's a nice build quality, feels good. Quality piece. The Injustice item is a Batman art trading card. Lighting is not that good here. Pretty cool, pretty cool little trading card, new fan art, has a little certificate of authenticity from the artist. Not a bad thing. The punch out item was actually kind of perplexing because this is a pin of Mike Tyson, his sprite from the NES punch out game. That's a dead giveaway that this is not official merchandise because there's no way in hell Nintendo would approve in 2020 Mike Tyson punch out merchandise. And the God of War piece is this nice little print. Good size, has Kratos and Atreus. Nice little backdrop. Good size. Has a certificate of authenticity, artist autograph, and number. This one is 1400 out of 2200. Good number. Rounded up, here's 100. Love it. So, those are the four games that were confirmed, but there are two extra ones here. So, they were advertising autograph Funko Pops, and they delivered. This one is uh, from Crash Bandicoot Tiny Tiger. Is autographed by um, blah, 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 what's his name? Um, Brendan O'Brien. He is the voice actor of both Tiny Tiger and Crash Bandicoot. And apparently, some of these have they're not chase variants, but they're just normal Crash Bandicoot Funko Pops of Crash himself with his autograph. Um, it comes with a little Funko Pop protector sleeve. I don't know if you can really see it. But it's really cool. It's going to be the first Funko Pop I actually keep in the box. Good protector. Really neat. And then the second bit is another print. 
with Master Chief kind of crossing over, facing off with Nathan Drake. This is probably my favorite piece out of the box. Honestly, it's a really good surprise because Halo and Uncharted were not advertised at all. So like the God of War piece, it's numbered, signed. This one is 110 out of 500. And also has a certificate of authenticity. Now there's certificate of authenticity, but they're mostly just a bandbox CEO confirming, hey, this autograph is real, this art print is real. I don't think any of this is actually official like licensed merchandise from the game developers and publishers. As I said, Nintendo, no way in hell they would have a Mike Tyson piece of um, merchandise for Punch Out in 2020. And I mean no disrespect to the fanbox community or the staff, the EO, the founders, etc. Or the artists. The artists, you, you, the art is amazing. It's just I'm more of an official merchandise licensed, you know, figure, statues kind of guy. Um, fan art is amazing. And it's cool to have me autographed print. But I guess I was expecting something on me for not checking out, you know, previous fan box, like horror boxes or pop culture boxes, other things in the um, Facebook community. But, yeah, just a heads up to everyone who's like me who prefers, you know, more physical, you know, the official merchandise uh, than like nerd block or like the old arcade block, loot crate, those guys do. This video in particular is probably a lost cause because I talked about the actual unboxing aspect. I wasn't really too shocked by anything. Reactions weren't all that you know, grandiose or anything, but it was less a you know reaction, more just straight up review, and that was on me. So hopefully this was at least somewhat, if not entertaining, at least informative about what to expect with Bandbox. If I can, you know, sway someone who's into this into buying into it, or sway someone who would not be into it from not buying it, or into not buying it, then, hey, I feel like I've done a good job. If you are interested in Bandbox, I will link the website in the description below. You can go ahead and check it out and see a bunch of other unboxing videos, or, you know, customer reviews, see what other kinds of boxes they have. Uh, they have a Facebook community, I'm sharing a lot of photos, ideas for future boxes. They have a pretty nice buy-sell community. I'm pretty sure I can sell off a lot of these things that I don't want to keep or give away as gifts to friends. And um, definitely worth it looking into if you are into the fan art aspect of the box. If you saw anything today that you might like, Definitely try out that Facebook community. So to kind of wrap this up, um, stay safe, stay hydrated, have a good night, day, whenever you're watching. Thank you.